today we're going to talk season two, episode three of Dawson's Creek. It's called Alternative Lifestyles. And it's one of my favorite things because it's like um, a school project and it's all about like who you get paired up with and it's like all the stuff that you have to do like outside of school. The very beginning of this episode is basically um, Mitch having like sex talk with Dawson more. Um, he's literally like pulling down the ladder that goes directly into Dawson's bedroom that Joey uses um, and just kind of being like we can't let you like be here and Dawson's like being like so aggressively like why it doesn't matter like if I'm gonna have sex I'm gonna have sex which is so funny just knowing Dawson and knowing like when his character actually loses his virginity and then basically uh the end of the open of the show is them going into uh Dawson's room the dad like Mitch leaves and then Joey has been hiding in Dawson's closet and then they just start making out and then Mitch like opens the door and like, sees her in there which like I don't know. It's so sweet and innocent because like literally all they want to do is kiss. After the intro with the uh, wrong theme song, um, everything is kind of crazy at Joey's house. Like Bessie is freaking out. There's like maybe a health inspector coming and all this stuff. And then like Alexander's crying and like he has one shoe on and like Joey's just kind of like in this whirlwind of like being 15 and like her home life is just kind of like crazy and everything is nuts all the time. It's really funny because like Mitch and Gail, like, have so many storylines that, like, the kids just aren't aware of, um, mostly discussing their open marriage, um, which Gail is not on board with, and then they're just kind of like, okay, we won't deal with this. Um, they ultimately, in this episode, decide that they will try to have an open marriage, <laughs> and then they assign, like, Thursday as date night, so their idea is just kind of like, on Thursdays night Thursday nights, they can go and, like, do whatever they want. So they sort of start doing that as like an anger thing because basically Gail gets a ride home from someone in accounting who she like kisses on the mouth. Um, but it's like, oh, are you mad about this? It just, <laughs> their storyline is ridiculous. Um, but that's basically what happens with them. They're like, okay, fine. We are going to have an open marriage. Like, bye. And like, Abby is trying to get Jen to like, look at these like hot high school jocks and Jen's kind of like, ew gross like I hate them they're not intellectually stimulating and then Abby's like oh right I forgot you like love Dawson and then Andy stops Pacey in the hallway and is like oh I forgot my notes can you give me the notes on the reading and Pacey's like I didn't do the reading obviously I'm Pacey and then he tells Andy that if he gets called on when he hasn't done the reading he just says pass that's not a thing that ever seemed like a viable option when I was in high school at least like I've never heard someone get called on and then be like pass <laughs> like I don't want to answer the question like sorry bye um so I just think it's funny that he like has this answer ready for her of course we like go into this economics class and literally everybody we know in the school is there so it's like the two jock guys who Abby had just been like crushing on this new nerd guy, Kenny, who's very smart, who knows the answer when, like, Andy says pass. Um, and Abby and Jen and Joey and Pacey and Andy and Dawson. So basically the idea is that they're studying microeconomics and so they're going to get paired up and they're going to be, like, given, like, a home budget to do. And, like, that's what their project is. But they only have until, like, Friday. And I was like, that's crazy. Like, they only have, like, four days, like during a school week to like get this done it just seems like it seems like a lot of work and then also they're like it's a third of your grade <laughs> which like okay I mean we set the stakes like I understand but so Andy and Pacey of course get set up the two jocks get paired up Jen and jo Dawson get paired up of course Abby gets set up with um the nerd guy Kenny who we've never seen before and I don't think we ever see again uh but who I kind of like and then Joey is a single mom um, so it's like, she, you know, she's already dealing with the stuff with Bessie at home. And so she's kind of like, I already know how to deal with economic stress. Like, this is so stupid. And like, she's kind of telling Dawson, like, she doesn't know, like, what she wants to do with her life. But like, he does know what he wants to do. And so she's kind of like feeling that, like, that, like, stress, which I don't remember, like, specifically thinking about at that age. But I do understand, like, feeling that when you have someone who you're dating, especially who is like so ambitious and is so like, this is my thing, like I'm into movies. Abby is sort of like, okay, your guys are gonna be playing house, you're gonna be playing husband and wife, like you're gonna be like studying late at night, like just hit on him, which like, 
again, it's just like so, it's like adult themes in such a weird way. Like that's just not something you're thinking of as a teen is literally like, I'm going to steal that guy back. Like it's just sort of like nothing is that serious. Um, which is part of the reason why I love Dawson's Creek so much because like everything is that serious and like it, it gives this weight to like your emotions at the restaurant. Like Jack still works there. So Jack and Joey are trying to like clean up and like Jack's not doing a great job. Jack doesn't have a lot to do in this episode, but it's fine. Um, and Joey's telling Bessie about the project and Bessie's sort of like, oh, I'm a single career woman. Like help ask me, like, I'll help you do this. I know how to do budgets. And Joey's kind of like just straight up rude to her and is like, you are not successful. Like you are not what this project is based on, um, which is just like, ugh. Um, and then of course on Pacey and Andy's project, like Pacey just wants like a fancy car. Dawson is like, we have to send our kids to state school. Like this is too expensive. And Jen is literally like, if we had kids, like they'd be Ivy League. <laughs> like just calm down. Like everybody calm down. Um, but the best part of, uh, Jen and Dawson in this episode is that they have the exact same haircut, except it looks like amazing on Jen and like really weird on Dawson. <laughs> Like, Pacey and Andy are kind of fighting the whole time. Andy, you know, is, like, very neurotic and very, like, trying to do a good job. Pacey is, like, fucking off. And, like, Pacey's sort of, like, we don't have to, like, work on this that hard. Like, it's fine. And then he keeps calling Andy, like, a spoiled rich kid and stuff. Which, like, it's just so sad. And it's just, like, ugh. And then Joey gets to go to this um, super successful career woman's, um, like, place of business. And it's, like, it's really sweet because it's, like... We know that Joey's about to get into art, and so it's, like, seeing, you know, and find her purpose. Like, this episode really is, like, setting up so many themes that we're, like, about to get into in season two of Dawson's Creek. Um, and so the woman is, like, an architect and an interior designer and stuff, and, like, she has Joey, like, look up floor plans of a restaurant, and since she works in a restaurant, she, like, has a really good idea of, like, something wrong, and, like, it's so hokey, but I, like, I love stuff like that. Like, it's just, like, oh, this is so great, like... She's just, like, so happy. But basically, like, Dawson and Joey are, like, making out. And, like, Jen appears and just kind of watches them for a second. And then <laughs> as Joey's walking past her, she goes, nice dress. And Jen goes, thanks, I borrowed it. <laughs> Joey goes, I bet. <laughs> and then literally, like, Dawson is like, oh, where do you want to, like, work on this project? And Jen, like, Jen's like, let's go somewhere more comfortable. Let's go to your bedroom. But then at the ice house, like, Bessie and Joey get in this huge fight because Joey is just like, oh, Laura was so helpful, like, the career woman that she talked to. And Bessie kicks her out, and so it's just her and Jack, like, cleaning up for the health inspector. Pacey swings by, and Jack is basically like, we're not rich, dude. Like, why do you think I'm working here? And, like, Pacey's finally like, oh, sorry. Like, okay. And then in the morning, um... Joey and Bessie like make up like she Bessie wants to fire Joey and then Joey's like no come on I'm sorry like blah blah and they like make up so Jen is just kind of like oh let me massage you and then it's like oh I can't I'm so tired I can't even go next door can I just sleep here and J Dawson's like no <laughs> like and it's like oh we can't be friends and she's like and he's like no we can be friends we, like you can't sleep together like what like it's, like, the only time where, like, Dawson is acting, like, very normal in a situation and, like, someone else is, like, acting crazy. The next day, uh, Kenny calls out uh, Abby in class and is, like, she didn't do anything. Uh, Pacey comes in and has actually, like, finished their project for him and Andy um, and, like, everyone else does well. And then my favorite thing happens, which is, like, Andy and Pacey are, like, chatting and, like, being cute and, like, walking away from the school building. And literally then they walk directly past a car and you see in the little, like, side view mirror that it's Miss Jacobs. Tamara is back. So excited. Like, I, I actively remember watching this episode 20 years ago when it aired being like, oh my god, I can't believe Miss Jacobs is back. This is crazy. Um, so I'm really excited about the next episode. Of course. That's it. It's a whole episode. Uh, see you next time for, uh, I think it's called Tomorrow's Return. I can't remember. I could look it up, but I just don't want to.